What's cracking, fam? T Money down in the dungeon Monday night, bringing you guys a collection update. Um, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna just jump right into this update. So uh, yeah, here we go. First up, we got something from PBS broadcast. This is Exhumed: A History of Zombies and Dr. Emily Zarka, who studies literature and film through the lens of monsters. Um, kind of just explores the history of zombies in like popular culture and also pr uh, like predating uh, kind of like the mainstream um, zombie Hollywood movie type thing. So it's a study of the history of zombies in our culture. I think I just said that. Um, she explores how zombie folklore arose and became mainstream and discovers more about the spiritual and histo historical roots of zombie lore. Uh, so yeah. Cool, I guess. I love zombie films, so. Uh, this one I wanted to pick up for a long time. There was a, media, a German media book uh, that was super limited. I missed it. Jesse had it on his site, I think, once. Um, and I missed it, so it was gone. Never to be seen again. Still not available on Amazon Germany. I always look. So I picked this up. Somebody had posted a picture of this on Instagram. I forget who. Uh, but it's a movie I wanted to always watch called Maya. It's either Italian or Spanish. But it's basically about uh, an evil spirit that awakens in a small Mexican village. And it's up to this like local doctor, um, mystical doctor, to try and stop the evil power uh, before it overtakes the villagers. Um, but yeah, I started watching this the other night and I fell asleep. I was just tired. It wasn't boring or anything. Uh, but it's definitely got that like 70s, 80s, Euro zombie like kind of low budget like zombie 3 zombie 4 style feel i think to it a little bit but uh yeah stoked to check this one out though maya from the buried treasures collection so really cheap that was like 10 bucks all right then we have um let's see so i ordered a couple movies from raven banner direct i've already i already own uh most of these movies, but I just got them because they're limited slipcover editions. So we have Deathgasm, which is amazing. This movie fucking kicks ass. So I got like the variant and the regular cover. Um, I already have the regular edition. Was it Scream Factory? I can't remember who put that one out. But uh, And then of course, The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Um, this was a great movie as well. Scream Factory put this out. But yeah, limited edition slipcovers. They get me every time. Then this was a new one, Come True, an Anthony Scott Burns film. It says, 18-year-old Sarah submits to a university sleep study, but soon realizes she's become the conduit to a frightening new discovery. Dreams, twists, and nightmares come true in this mind-altering new work from science fiction, uh, science fiction from Anthony Burns, who did Our House, which I think was a, another Scream Factory release. Uh, but yeah, so pretty cool. It's got quotes all over it, so it was one from Raven Banner that I did not have. Uh, then I grabbed the 4K of this, Hansel and Gretel. I actually love this movie. I think it's really entertaining, good, like, action, I guess, uh, folklore, whatever. But uh, it's a good take on the Hansel and Gretel story, and, um, and yeah, 4K, so why not? I love the way the witches look in this one, too. I just think it's fun, so it's pretty cool. Then we have one from Ryan Nicholson, uh, Rest in Peace. Uh, to Ryan Nicholson's Star Vehicle, and this is from Unearth Films' new one, just a gore fest, I'm sure. Uh, it follows the downward spiral of a movie driver, uh, a self-professed movie buff with a penchant for explosive violence. When a young and self-absorbed director challenges his authority, murder and mayhem ensues. I'm sure it's chock full of gore, um, and uh, you know, in similar Ryan Nicholson fashion. So. That's cool. Classic right here on Blu-ray. Uh, Kate Fear, love this movie so much. I don't think, yeah, I think it does have a generic U.S. release, but wanted to pick this one up. 30th Anniversary Edition, uh, U.K. release from Fabulous Films. I don't know who Fabulous Films is, but... Uh, yep, just a great Scorsese film. Uh, All-star cast. Thriller more than horror, but... It's pretty, uh, it's pretty intense. I love it. De Niro is excellent. It's got Jessica Lang in it. So, uh, yeah, good film. Cape Fear. It's been a long time since I've seen it. And we have the classic Dementia 13 on Blu-ray from Vestron. 
putting these cool collector's editions out, and they're dirt cheap now, so got to pick them up, like 13 bucks for this. Um, but yeah, classic Francis Ford Coppola. Quintessential gothic horror, indeed. Um, so yeah, nice new release from Vestron series. Then we have, I love this movie, uh, Outpost, zombie flick, modern zombie, kind of Nazi zombie style movie, good practical effects, I love the setting, um, anything that like has to do with bunkers and zombies and Nazi zombies, I love, so uh, stoked to grab this one, I don't think it has a US Blu-ray, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, good movie, fun, so if you love zombie flicks, highly recommend it for a modern zombie flick. Alright, then we have... Uh, Death Screams. I had never seen this movie before, never even heard of it, but Arrow Video put it out, and um, I think Diabolic and Grindhouse have the exclusive slipcover for it, so that's really cool. I actually really prefer this this uh, slipcover. It's, it's got like a, I don't know what you'd call that, but it's like a cutout, and so the mouth is like a cutout, and then inside a little bit, you've got the uh, cover there. It's really cool. Um, but yeah, stoked to check this one out. Slasher movie from, I think, the 80s. Doesn't say. Uh, it doesn't say. No, I don't see a year. 1982. So, awesome. Early 80s, 80, early 80s, early 80s slasher movie that has a... Anything that has to do with a cemetery, I'm, I'm assuming because of the cover there, uh, is awesome. So, yeah, some maniac stocks a bunch of... Um, uh, a small town. Let's see. A razor sharp machete, uh, wielded by a madman, cuts through the night mist, leaving cuts through the night mist, leaving dismembered bodies scattered about. The police are baffled by the sadistic killings and are helpless to stop them from happening. What was once a small, quiet town is now engulfed with fear, terror, and shock. Okay, yeah, here we go. Deranged killer is planning to have a party of his own. Join him if you dare. Um, group of college students. Yeah, they somehow get involved, obviously. Um, so that's awesome. Death Screams. Really cool. And Arrow Video doing the... This is weird, because the regular cover, I do believe... Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's just got like this weird vintage VHS-looking um, back. And then the... I'm thinking this might be the uh, regular cover. And this might be the... Exclusive. Let me know in the comments, though, guys. Do you know which one is the exclusive? Um, brand new 2K restoration of the film. Brand new audio commentary with producer and special effects artists. Brand new audio commentary with the hysteria continues. All the fun of the scare, the making of Death Screams, newly produced making of documentary with interviews of Charles Eisen. Special, it's awesome. So you got all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, two versions of the screenplay under the original title Night Screams Versatile Sleeve. So yeah, um, I think this is the uh, regular edition. But um, Yeah, so stoked on that. Never seen that one. Love me. A new undiscovered uh, 80 slasher gem. And Arrow Video has put out so many good ones. Um, so many. I mean, where to even begin? Blood Rage, um, Mutilator. Just so many movies that I had never... Well, I had seen The Mutilator, but Blood Rage... I don't... Just good stuff. Awesome stuff. You guys like my hair? I just cut it. Uh, it looks really bad. I feel like I look like um, Larry from Dumb and Dumber, but hoping to get a haircut soon. I digress. Uh, Children of the Corn, Stephen King's 4K. Did we really need this? Probably not. Um, but I feel like I just fucking bought this, and it had... You know, the same cover artwork, which I actually like this newly commissioned cover artwork. And then the classic, you know, uh, axe in the uh, cornfield uh, is the undercover classic artwork for the film. But, yeah, I mean, we just got this, uh, a nice release, like two years ago maybe from Arrow. And now we have a 4K release, which is awesome because I have to buy the 4K, of course. Gotta see the movie in 4K, but it just sucks. It just sucks. I wish I could, like, predict the future, pretty much. And two years ago, I probably would have held off on all the standard edition Blu-rays and just waited for the 4Ks. But what are you going to do? This movie's a lot of fun. Um, Aussie exploitation. Uh, turkey shoot. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Game of... Not Game of Thrones. Um, what's the one with that actress? Um, 
fuck, I always forget the name of the series, where they're um, basically hunting humans. Um, it's that sort of thing. Relentless violence, gratuitous nudity. Prepare yourself for the most infamous and controversial exploitation shocker of them all. Oh, wow. So it's it's a futuristic... Star it's, it takes place in the future, 1995. The actual movie is from 1980. Um, <clears throat> but it's got Stephen Rails back. It says, after refusing to conform to the rigid, strictly ordered society of futuristic 1995, uh, Steve Railsback and Olivia, Olivia Husey uh, are labeled deviants and delivered to a brutal maximum security behavioral modification. Holy shit. Uh, a brutal maximum security behavior modification camp. That's a mouthful. They soon discover that their only chance of freedom is to survive the turkey shoot, a vicious and bloody manhunt devised by ruthless camp warden Thatcher, played by Michael Craig. And yes, I did see this movie, I think, when Severn released it. Uh, and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, it's not a horror movie, but exploitation, action, uh, suspense, classic. Uh, great scenery. Uh, I just love it. I love this setting. And this one comes with the original soundtrack, so that's awesome. Liz limited to 3,000 units, and this is part of the exploitation Classics line from Umbrella. Always putting out awesome stuff. All right, uh, let's see. This movie, the long-awaited, highly anticipated, bucket list, check-off of all. This is like the king of them all. We've been waiting for this release for so long. We finally have Alone in the Dark, collector's edition from, um, from Scream Factory. So I, the, the cover artwork underneath this is the classic. It's got the, you know, the, the, uh, the maniac, I guess, with the uh, hatchet, kind of like holding the hatchet. It's cool artwork. Um, I actually grabbed two copies of this, and the one that I have is uh, in my player. We're about to queue it up tonight, so I grabbed this one by accident. But, um, yeah, this movie is classic. The atmosphere is so creepy and dark. It's a dark film, very, like, dark in tone and also in, like, color. It's, it's just a dark movie. Uh, if you guys haven't seen this, I highly recommend it. All-star cast. You've got Martin Landau, Donald Pleasance. Um, uh, who else is in this? Fucking uh, Jack Palance. It's just so good. Directed by Jack Shoulder. And yeah, it's a bunch of maniacs that run loose in a power outage, basically. They're in this maximum security prison. They break loose and they uh, are on a mission, we'll say. And it's just classic. Highly recommend this movie. I don't know why it took so long to get it. On Blu-ray, but I'm sure it is selling very well for Scream Factory. Um, and let's see, just real quick. Uh, special features are limited, but you've got a new interview with the director, which is awesome. You've got a new uh, audio commentary. It doesn't say new, but audio commentary with the director. An interview with actress Carol Levy. An interview with underground New York punk favorite Sci-Fi Fucks and author Adam Rockoff. So, of course, none of the big stars in this. Well, they're, most of them are dead, right? Um... But, yeah, that would be really cool. But, yeah, so, cool, awesome, love it. All right, uh, this one is just, I, I talked to you guys about this when I got the bust, how big of a fan of this movie is, the Tom Savini remake of the original Night of the Living Dead. So I had to grab the standalone, beautiful uh, steelbook from Amazon Germany. And uh, it's all in German, but I just love that cover artwork, really dig it. So I had to grab this. Saw this on Amazon Germany when I was browsing the other day. Uh, well, a couple weeks ago now, but uh, yeah, I like this cover artwork quite a bit, and this movie freaking rocks, so highly recommend that one. If you haven't seen it, I love it. I like it more than the original, honestly, and this is going to be a quick video, guys, uh, because I got to go eat dinner. I'm hungry. I haven't really eaten anything today, um, but we've got the Dune Uber Limited Steelbook Collection. This is the first time I've ever seen a steelbook in a hard box. So, uh, yeah, this is the uh, release that kind of went MIA for a little while. Uh, they didn't know what was going on with it. Just the other releases came out, and then this one got stalled a little bit. But this is the uh, 4K limited edition steelbook. It's got a booklet in there. It's a really nice release. It's freaking heavy. The thing probably weighs like a pound or two. Um, but, yeah, chock full of features. Three disc limited edition set of Dune, so that's cool. And then uh, last one, well, I got two more for this update. We have the Sergio Martino collection, which is a compilation of films that I actually already own. 
It is uh, the Giallo Suspicious Death of a Miner. Your vice is a locked room and only I have the key. And the case of the Scorpion's Tail. I have no idea why they chose these three. Well, I take that back. If I could edit this, I would retract that statement. It's the Sergio Martino collection. Um, but it just seems kind of random that they would put these three out. But what do you know? Dumbass like me. Picked it right up, fell right for it, even though I have all three of these on perfectly fine standard key case edition releases. But I'm a sucker for a beautiful uh, art box like this. And um, I've seen the case of the Scorpion's Tail. I was pretty bored when, with uh, your vice is a locked room and only I have the key, to be honest with you. And I've never seen the suspicious death of the miner. So I've got some watching to do on this one. But uh, three movies, three little slim cases. And a little bit of uh, special features there. So last but not least, guys, just wanted to show you guys this. I picked this up. I watched Pizal show this off, and I immediately went on eBay and swooped it up because I had to have it. It was just so cool looking. Um, and, yeah, so apparently the stores are getting delayed, and Target and Walmart have them. Of course, my Target and my Walmart probably don't have them. I honestly probably should have checked before I went on eBay and paid a little bit more for this. But the seller was really nice. Um... And he shipped it immediately, like an hour after I placed it. I always appreciate that. It came within a couple days. And uh, it is the Friday the 13th, Part 7, A New Blood, Jason Voorhees figure from NECA. And the camera doesn't do it justice, guys, but it is pretty freaking cool. I always love the look of, like, 7 and 8 Jason. Just the rugged, torn, mutilated body, exposed um and the chains around the neck it's just awesome it looks so cool so yeah this figure i got on ebay unfortunately i'm one of the the suckers that paid a little bit more for it because i'm really lazy and i should have just gone to my local walmart my local target sucks so i guarantee you that it wouldn't it's like a mini target that's what we get for vermont but um it's like a half-ass target but i think it's one of the only targets that sell alcohol fun fact but uh, they don't carry any of the cool shit, so movie selection, really limited. But there's a chance my Walmart had this, so I should have gone. Maybe I'll go over there this week, see what they have, just in case. Um, but I'm probably not going to double dip on this, especially because I paid more than I should have for it. But, yep, so that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope everybody's doing well. Shout out to Retro Horror. I got your package ready to go. Contest winner and homie uh, that is going in the mail tomorrow. So, thanks, guys. Love you. Have a good night. Catch ya. Catch you soon. Peace.